just forget the hey guys and welcome to a new video if you don't know who i am my name is Lilia and i'm glad you checked out my channel and this video is going to be super exciting i often read in the comments something like oh Lilia, i love your room your loved is goals and i want to thank you for that i wanted to change up my room a bit i always have this i don't know feeling in the spring and i want to change fucking everything so I had a couple of little projects one is a do-it-yourself but the, all the other things I wouldn't call them do-it-yourselves they're just like little things that you can do to change up your room and I'm also going to show you how I style stuff because um, one of the things that I think you guys love about my room is the way I style everything like how I put um, things on my shelves, how I display my shoes, that kind of stuff so I'm also going, um, like when I'm showing you the process, how I do everything I'm also going to explain a bit like why I put the shoes there, why I think it looks nice, that kind of stuff I have four interior ideas for spring that I'm going to show you uh, and I hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, let's get started so the first interior idea design that I'm going to show you is the shelf. I saw a lot of clothing racks that had a shelf above them on Pinterest and I thought it looked so cute so I wanted to do the same. I chose this high shine shelf from Ikea and it's super easy to hang a shelf. If you don't know how to do it you can always ask for some help. And now on to the styling part of the shelf. I printed some art from Pinterest and I framed it in this rose gold frame. Then I added my designer bag from Alexander Wang because I kind of wanted it to be my designer bag shelf. And uh, the last thing that I added is this diptyque candle. So the reason why I added these items on the shelf is because of the height difference. For this shelf I decided to play up with different height proportions. As you can see, the frame is twice as big as the bag and the candle is twice as small as the bag. So this way you have an even proportion going on, which is very nice to look at. Also, everything is in the same color combination and uh, I also recommend always styling something with an uneven amount of items because this is just a little bit more interesting. My next interior idea is this wall filled with frames and as you can see this is the before result and I already used to have a lot of frames hanging on my wall but they were all kind of baroque inspired which didn't really go with my more minimal and modern vibe of my room so I decided to change things up so I bought some very simple photo frames and uh, I wanted to spray paint a couple of them rose gold because I love rose gold so that's what I did and uh, then I bought some cute uh, postal cards and some photos and yeah I just hang them up and the key with this one is to just be kind of messy and to mix and match different styles of photo frames but keeping the art very minimal inside of them so it isn't like too in your face and colorful <laughs> So the next interior idea is how to create your own corner filled with cute little plants. I think plants are essential for every room whatsoever. So I'm going to use different plants and different pots. So I'm going to use this bonsai and I'm going to put it in a rose gold basket because I think it adds a little bit more of an interesting touch. Also I'm adding some cacti with white pots and this little palm tree in a super cool rose gold pot that I got from H&M Home. So now it's time for the styling and I chose this little corner that I wanted to make a little bit more interesting. So I added first of all the bonsai uh, with the rose gold basket, then I added next to it the palm tree with a kind of geometrical rose gold pot and I think this contrast is super cool. After that I just mixed and matched with some cacti 
uh, and I chose to add three of these and I just think they look super cute. I think plants on the floor in general look super cute and I wanted to add an extra touch so that's why I added these super pretty heels from Zara. And this is the final result. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to make this do-it-yourself plant standard. This is an IKEA hack because this is actually a lantern, but you can make a super cute plant standard out of it. So I got it in this orange color and I decided to paint it rose gold because I love everything in rose gold. And um, yeah, after I painted it, I let it dry for a while. Then I just put the lantern upside down and I added a little plant, a little succulent to it. And this is the final result. I put it on my windowsill next to some candles and I think it looks super cute. And this is just so easy and cheap to make. So that's the end of this video and I hope you found it helpful. I hope I could inspire you with these um, yeah, little tips, little ideas. Because honestly they're super easy and they're not very expensive. I think everybody can do this in their room if you just want to spice things up. Also, I made a whole blog post um, about these tips with a little bit more explanation. Um, and I will link it down below if you're interested um, yeah, on my blog. And also don't forget to subscribe because my next goal is 50,000 subscribers. Uh, and the last thing, if you have your own like kind of interior home decor idea for spring, what you want to do or what you already done like previous spring, let me know in the comments below because I'm always like open for um, yeah new ideas.